War Room Sports, www.warroomsports.com. What? Ain't no more to it. War Room on War Room Sports TV. I'm Devin McMillan, and I'm here with my co-host, Jimmy Williams, and B. Austin. And we're here today to talk about some sad news in the uh, world of NFL football, um, in particular the Kansas City Chiefs. It, was, it has been reported that Chiefs linebacker Javon Belcher uh, murdered his girlfriend uh, in a Kansas City neighborhood in front of his mother, no doubt, and then went to the Chiefs facilities at Arrowhead Stadium and killed himself in the parking lot. Um, supposedly there were two witnesses and we're getting reports that the witnesses might have been Chiefs head coach and general manager. Uh, we have no idea what this situation is about, you know, what it stemmed from, but it's a horrid situation indeed. B. Austin, I'm going to come to you first to see uh, what you think about this whole thing. You know, first of all, we have to speculate if we're going to try to figure out what actually happened. So keep that in mind, audience. But what do you think in general, Austin, with the whole murder-suicide in the parking lot type thing? I don't know what happened. I would like to extend my condolences and prayers to that young man's family, to his girlfriend's family, to the coaching staff, and to the players of the Kansas City Chiefs. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, I think they should dig that coward up again and kill him again, yo. Damn! Yo, I, I don't I don't agree with suicide under any circumstances. Yo, we all live through trying and tough times. We all go through things. I don't know what that young man was going through, but it's the ultimate in selfish act. I'm not oh, even looking at the up. fact. Let me cut I'm you off for one at, minute. I'm not even wait, looking. Wait, 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 let me cut you off for one minute cuz I'm not saying back. I No, no, I'm not saying I disagree because I kind of agree with the whole thing of suicide. I just want to add a point to what you're saying. I think it's even worse when you take somebody else's life before you take your life. If you're going and to kill you yourself, don't get punished. then you don't get punished. Yourself, then, then, you know, whatever you were going through, you, you may have to do what you have to do, but, uh, but don't take someone else's life, you know, and then run from it. They had a three month old at that. So now their child has yo, to grow up without, yo, without its parents. See, this boy right. is turning into more of a scumbag by the minute because he pointed out that, he killed someone and then killed himself to get out of dealing with the repercussions of that. Now, on top of that, you have a three-month-old baby. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, listeners, audience, when you guys comment on this video, which I know that you will, at War Room Sports, go ahead and get on your WarRoomSportsTV.com. Check us out. When you comment on this, keep in mind that I, I, I'm not expecting anyone to feel as I feel. I'm not, I'm not apologizing. I'm not even saying that I'm right in my feelings, but I am being sincere. I am carrying through with my integrity. I feel as though this dude deserves to burn for eternity because of the pain that he's putting other people through. And that's my thoughts. I don't care about nothing else, man. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy, you want to try to follow that up? Yo, I don't know how to follow that up. I'm not going to be as harsh as the brother B. Austin. Speaking of tragedy, shout out to my Flyers fans. Bring back hockey. But with that being said, I think there's another issue at play here, and that's uh, mental health um, with athletes as well. Um, I know personally in the African-American community that people look at mental health a little different than they do other communities, and it's, it's, a, it's a bigger issue. I don't know what he was going through, you know, so I can't pretend to know what he was going through, but I totally agree in the sense that why would you, you know, kill the mother of your child? Um, and leave your child and leave your three month old. I mean, pretty much alone. Yeah, you're right in that. I, but at the end of the day, like, it's just a sad situation. Anybody who knows me knows I hate the Chiefs, but I wouldn't wish them, this on them at all. Um, I'm not into suicide. I mean, unless you got a, you're still walking around with a palm phone and you can jump off your roof. But other than that, you know, suicide is um, it's it's just a sad situation, man. I, I don't know whether they're going. Are they going to play the game still tomorrow? I mean, what are they going to do in terms of that? Well, the NFL has sent. Uh, the Carolina Panthers a memo saying to travel as planned. Um, they haven't made a decision yet, but the Carolina Panthers are en route to, to Kansas City as we speak. So, Do you think they should play the game? Um, I don't know. That parking lot is uh, it's a crime it's, scene. It's, it's a point. crime scene. It's a, it's a horrific scene. Um, I'm going to get to the question they in a minute, Jimmy, where, uh, but but the, I think they should find where they're going to bury him and spit on it first before he get there. Damn. Uh, we got it, man. But at the same time, like, 
yeah, it was it was a terrible situation, especially because everything he did, he did in front of someone. Like it was reported that his mother was in town visiting, and he actually shot his girlfriend in front of her, and then. What? And then you had the witnesses in the parking lot. Not only the two people reported to be uh, uh, chiefs, front office people, maybe the coach and the GM, but police said that they saw it happen too. Because I, I gather they were, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, maybe he, on their way to the to the. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You tell me his his mom saw this as well. Uh, the reports that I heard says that his mother was visiting and he shot his girlfriend in front of his mom, and then went to the parking lot at Arrowhead Stadium. And was supposedly talking to two chiefs, uh, you know, staff members, and the police actually said that they witnessed it also. So maybe they were on their way to go make the arrest. And so now you put your mom through unnecessary trauma. You put your your coach. Man, who you everybody, claim to be thankful. Everybody's gonna be through going through unnecessary <laughs> trauma. We don't even have to go down the list, man. Yeah, it's man, a terrible situation. I, I mean, just, with, with that being said, man, like I said. I got so many jokes I can make now, but it's not a laughing matter. It, this is sad. I mean, this is a sad situation, even for the Chiefs. And I, I wish nothing no but jokes. bad things on the Chiefs, but this is crazy. Like, the more and more that comes out, the more and more we'll find out. But I don't know what could possibly push someone to this point. To My, you know, my thought is I, I, I pretty much think that they may go ahead and play the game. But even if they don't, here's what I'm asking you guys. I don't know what kind of camaraderie he had in the locker room. Maybe he was a beloved figure in the locker room. But do you think this is a situation where they put something on the jersey or something on the helmet, you know, for this guy? Or do you wow. think, like, wow. murder-suicide throws that we, out the window? We already know what Austin going to say. Should we even ask Austin? I mean, you know, uh, as a – as a, you know, it's real hard to address this because I'm I'm so caught up in the act itself – you know, you brought up camaraderie in the locker room. You brought up, you know, was he friends with folks on the team? Some of those guys may want to celebrate his 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 memory, but do you risk celebrating or taking or making light of the fact that he participated in and was the aggressor in a murder suicide? I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it, even when you kill yourself, that doesn't mean that you should you don't deserve you know the love of your family or whatever. I, I, and and friends, I mean, I, I don't and, know, and I, I can, can't I even can answer speak that. on this. I I say no, man, because outside of the fact that you committed suicide, yo, you murdered someone. You're no different than Ray Carruth. You know what I mean? Other than the fact that he had to be punished for his crime, but you know, different than Good him. Point. That's like the Panthers putting Ray Carruth's number on the back of their helmet, like you know, and he didn't die, but he got Ruth. The judge roofed him for a minute, so mm -hmm. he, I, he gets I, out in 2014. Yo, not 2014. I thought it was like 28. That, that's regardless. Really? That's, that's irrelevant. I thought yeah, it was like 2018. It's soon. No. But regardless of that, regardless of that, the point is this guy murdered somebody outside of killing himself. Okay. He murdered somebody first, so you can't yeah. honor this dude like that. Okay. Well, like we started off saying, you know, our condolences here at Warroom Sports go out to uh, that man's family, his girlfriend's family, the the Kansas City Chiefs, the NFL in general. Um, it's it's a crazy situation, and by the time you guys see this video, I guess we would have our answer as to whether they played the game or not. But uh, make sure you check out our videos here on War Room Sports TV. Make sure you comment, because we will get back to you. This is a community here, and we like to engage with our neighbors. So uh, we're going to sign off, and as usual, don't accept mediocrity, and be steadfast in the war against ignorance. We out. The wait is the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly guys.